In my first video, which was based on the Arduino and SX12708 LoRa transceiver modules, I explained the maximum basic things including the SX12708 LoRa module pinout, technical specifications and its interfacing with the Arduino. I demonstrated to beginners level projects the Hello World project in which I was simply sending the Hello World message wirelessly to the receiver LoRa module and then in the next example I modified the same program and converted it into a sensor monitoring system. In my second video I explained how to make a long-range wireless two-way communication system using the same 433 MHz SX1278 LoRa transceiver modules. In this project I was simply sending the potentiometer value from the master node to the slave node and then I was printing its value on the I2C supported OADD display module. If you remember I had told you that we can replace the potentiometer with other analog and digital sensors. So today I will do it. Along with the potentiometer I will also use a flame sensor for the fire detection and an LGR sensor for day and night detection. So if you are a beginner then I highly recommend you should first watch my previous two tutorials on the Arduino and SX1278 LoRa modules and then you can resume from here. You can find links in the description. In today's episode you will learn how to monitor multiple sensors using Arduino and long range 433 MHz SX1278 LoRa transceiver modules. To the master LoRa node an OLED display module is connected which of course we will be using for printing the sensors values and messages. To the LoRa node 1 a potentiometer, flame sensor and digital LDR sensors are connected. Let's go ahead and start with the potentiometer. As you can see the system is quite responsive and is very fast. Now with this potentiometer you can control a servo a stepper motor, DC motor and so on. Now let's go ahead and check the flame sensor. I have been using this flame sensor and it's good for beginners. You can see a change in the value when the flame sensor detects the fire. Now let's go ahead and check the digital LDR sensor. This LDR sensor board is designed in a way that it gives only two outputs, one or zero. So depending on these two output states, we can decide if it's the daytime or the nighttime. And as you can clearly see on the OLED display module, when there is no shadow on the LDR, it displays day. And when there is a shadow, then it displays night. You can adjust the sensitivity of the sensor with the help of the potentiometer. This way it will only generate the signal when there is absolutely no light at all. So how it's working? The Arduino reads all the sensors, create a message consisting of the sensor's values which are separated with commas. The final message is then sent to the master LoRa node where the message is split using comma as the delimiter. The separated sensor values are then converted back into integer values, some conditions are implemented and then finally the sensor's values are printed on the OLED display module. Now you have got an idea of what you are going to learn after watching this video. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the circuit diagram of the master LoRa node. The connection of the SX1278 LoRa module remains exactly the same as explained in my previous two tutorials. This time I added the SSD1306 I2C supported OLED display module. The VCC and ground pins of the SSD1306 or LED display module are connected with the Arduino's 3.3 volt and ground pins. 
the SDA and SCL pins of the OLED display module are connected with the Arduino's I2C pins A4 and A5. For detailed explanation, watch my previous tutorials or read my article available on electronicclinic.com. This is the circuit diagram of the LoRa Note 1. The connection of the SX1278 LoRa module remains exactly the same. The potentiometer is connected with the airlock pin A2. The flame sensor is connected with the analog pin A3 and the output of the LDR circuit is connected with the digital pin 3 of the Arduino. I connected everything as per the circuit diagram and now let's take a look at the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. Both the codes or the modified versions of the codes I used in my previous tutorials. The sending and receiving codes remains exactly the same. There are just a few changes. On the Arduino LoRa Note 1, I added two more sensors, the flame sensor and the LDR sensor. I also deleted the receiving code because the LoRa Note 1 will only transmit the data. Inside the loop function, I am reading sensors and then I create a complete message. As you can see, the sensor's values are separated using commas as the delimiter and then finally we send the complete message to the master LoRa node. On the master LoRa, I added code for the OLED display module. The master node address is 0xFF and the node 1 address is 0xBB. I also defined three variables for storing the values of the potentiometer, flame sensor, and LDR sensor. Next I defined a variable day night of the type string. I'm using this variable for storing the day and night messages. Inside the loop function we are continuously calling the onReceive function which checks if the LoRa has received any data. If it has received the data then we check if the data is coming from the node 1. If yes, then read from the LoRa module and the entire message is stored in the variable incoming. Next we split the message using comma as the delimiter and store the sensor's values in variables Q, R and S. The values which are stored in these variables are of the type string. To implement any conditions we will need to convert these values into integer values. This is why I converted these values into integers and stored the final values in variables sensor 1, sensor 2 and sensor 3. Sensor 3 holds the value of 1 or 0 which is coming from the LDR sensor board. So I'm using an if condition to check if a value of 1 or 0 is received. If a value of 1 is received then it's a night and if a value of 0 is received then it's the daytime and finally I empty the incoming message and also print the values and messages on the OLED display module. The get value function is a user defined function which I have been using in so many projects. The purpose of this function is to split the message using any character as the delimiter. In my case I'm using comma but you can also use other characters. So that's all about the programming. I have already uploaded both the programs and now Let's watch the multiple sensors monitoring project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.